is the Winona Judd Jam Session that we were honored to be a part of when we stopped by. And this is huge because Winona and her husband Michael are having a blast again considering a devastating family accident that they endured together. But overcame. Okay. Yeah, and they really opened up about it with Nancy. Their marriage, they say, changed forever that terrible day when Michael lost his leg in a motorcycle crash. Take us back to the backstory behind the accident. Describe the day of the accident to me. A Harley ride with friends and just this beautiful open space in South Dakota. Wind in the hair, he's 10 feet in front of me and it went from that to, is he alive or dead? I have no idea. And I run back and he's just laying there and I hear nothing. And then I heard the most beautiful sound on earth and that is him going <gasps> At what point did you realize that your leg was severed? And my mind still was, at that point, I was going, oh, this is like compound fracture. That means I can't play the gig tonight. It takes too long to put that all together. I didn't know it was completely just gone. And what did you say to him? I love you. Christmas. 15 months later, a miracle that once seemed unimaginable. One day you lose your leg, Probably. the next day you go on tour. And get to be on the road again, I mean, it's, it's the most amazing gift every single day, I swear yes, to you. I is. cannot wait for every gig. Baby, I gotta go. But it's cold outside. Winona asked me to join them at their Nashville rehearsal studio. She's told me many, many times how you're her ultimate favorite. Actually, well, she is. Aww. We've she known is each mine other, too. Like, yeah, a long time. And Cactus was so comfortable, he proudly gave me a look at his new leg. This is um, a little computer that helps kind of know what I'm doing on this leg. But these things are incredible, and we've actually this started. This is actually a computer? Yeah, in here. Oh, wow. And with her husband now healthy, Winona is focusing on Got Soul, a new line of shoes available at boutiques like LA's Fred Siegel. She said, actually, that you're so overwhelmingly positive that it is irritating. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel that's not the train, honey. OK, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I've been thinking about this morning what I was going to say. Um, he's just an overachiever, and I think he's such a message of hope to all the you know, mm. people who have lost limbs. I've watched him go through hell. And yet, I've watched him walk out of the fire and into the light and go, we are going to be a testimony. 